mic, one mic. Yeah. All I need is one mic, one mic. Yeah. All I need is one mic, one mic, one mic. What up, though, everybody? Welcome back to a new episode of One Mic, where I watch shit so you don't have to. And today I'm here to talk about the new film on HBO Max starring Daniel Kaluuya and Lakeith Stanfield entitled Judas and the Black Messiah. So um, I watched this one last night. It is now 8.50 in the morning, the following day, Saturday morning. Um, you could probably still see the bags under my eyes. I just woke up and I immediately wanted to come over and tell you guys to watch this fucking movie. Um... Uh, Daniel Kaluuya, uh, you guys are all familiar with him. He was uh, the star of Get Out. Um, speaking of which, brief side note, um, like almost like many of the main characters from Get Out are also in this film. There's a brief moment where um, uh, all three of them are on the screen at the same time, but in close proximity to one another. But anyway, uh, you guys know Daniel Kaluuya from, uh, from Get Out. Um, you, you know him from Black Panther, uh, Queen and Slim, uh, all the kinds of films he's been he's been doing a lot of work lately ever since really ever since get out he's been getting a lot of uh getting a lot of work and um if you guys remember get out he was nominated for uh an oscar for his performance in get out and this makes his performance in get out look like child's play um he was amazing absolutely amazing engaging um powerful um intense uh anything you could think of he pulled it off here i mean uh he, the way it was filmed too at times um the director did shaka king did an awesome job uh filming this because like it, you already have the lore of fred hampton and then you also have an incredible performance by an incredible actor and then to 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 put the cherry on top just the way he shot at times he almost comes off like uh like one of the most powerful people in the world like he's filmed from from below uh, several times where you're looking up at him and he just looks like a just a, like a juggernaut there's times where he's filmed again from below going upstairs um looking like someone who's about to just completely uh just crush whatever it is he's about to do um there's some some other magnificent shots that almost look like something out of a uh like a like a still picture or 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 something out of a painting or something like that like some some amazing shots um during some of these speeches but you know it's easy to forget Daniel Kaluuya is a British guy you know and like like these uh imp I don't want to call them impersonations because that sounds that's almost uh demeaning to what he does but um his Fred Hampton man like the body language the uh the mannerisms the facial expressions the voice the inflections like man this dude went to work man like he studied every piece of this guy and and man he fucking nailed it man like if he's got to win he's got to win an oscar because th this was this was stunning what he what he uh pulled off for this film um i i sorry I, I had to jump right into that but um in short the film's about uh an fbi uh well it's about a guy who uh is, he steals cars he gets caught for impersonating a police officer and he is essentially tasked with the with the uh the role of infiltrating the black panthers and setting up their leader fred hampton um a leader of the illinois chapter anyway um and still widely considered to be like you know one of the most famous black panthers um and that's and that's pretty much the gist of the film you know you see uh lakeith stanfield's character bill o'neill um you know infiltrate this group get himself close to fred hampton and ultimately uh ultimately set him up for his murder, which is, uh, you know, just how it played out in real life. Um, the FBI, it's well known, COINTELPRO had, had it out for the Black Panthers, had it out for Fred Hampton. Um, yeah, and, and Bill O'Neill helped make it happen. Uh, it's, it's a really good, uh, not just a history lesson, but also just, uh, it, it, it's, it's amazing to see what these two actors do with their specific roles, right? So I've already talked about Daniel Kaluuya, but um, Lakeith Stanfield, man, another stellar actor, man. This guy crushes it every fucking time he's in a movie. And uh, seeing him deal with the weight of, uh, you know, I'm only here to infiltrate this group just so I don't go to jail. Like, I just, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get as close to this guy as I can, help the FBI out so I cannot go to jail. And then you can see he starts to become a believer in the ideologies um, he starts to become a fan, a friend of Fred Hampton, and you can see that uh, that internal struggle with what he's what he's doing. And uh, Lakeith Stanfield, man, he's he's so fucking good, man. Absolutely love watching this guy perform. Uh, the 
story is it's, it's it's a little tough to explain well i mean i just explained it but i mean like the, the way it's structured in that um it, it's almost kind of like it, it's set up to get you from big hampton speech to big hampton speech right so you 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 that, that's kind of just how the film progresses you know we, we see the stuff with lakeith stanfield and then once he gets in with the black panthers we see uh you know hampton speech uh, you know brief moment of downtime or whatever hampton speech we roll them down so it's, it's not a very complex film in, in its structure or in its plot or anything like that but um it's driven and it's carried by the performances and and they are top notch um even dominique fishback who i uh i recognize her from the deuce uh uh hbo show um she was great as uh hampton's fiance um just everybody just really crushed this film it's incredibly powerful to watch um incredibly interesting um the two hours feels it I don't want to say it flies by, but it's certainly not one of those films where you're looking at your watch wondering how far you are into it uh, because Kaluuya is just so captivating. Um, one thing that I learned uh, from this film that I didn't already know was that Fred Hampton was incredibly young. Um, he was murdered at 21, which is uh, shocking to me because I think for myself, I think of uh, when Tupac was killed. Tupac was, I believe, 25 or 26, something in that, uh, something in that range. Um, incredibly young but to me as a as a teenager he seemed like you know seemed like a full I mean a 25 year old is a grown adult but um the way I look at a 25 year old now and then the way I look at that in relation to Tupac like he seemed uh toward the end of his life to be someone who was be, you know beyond his years like this was this, this was not the behavior or the words of a 25 year old and um, that applies tenfold to Fred Hampton. Like I, I had no idea he was only twenty one. Like my God, like what to to be that uh, uh, to be that captivating and that uh, just just a, a likable sounds so uh, like like a, a, like it's just a, a almost disrespectful to to the pull this man had. But to be able to motivate people like this and, and get people to rally around you at only twenty one in such dire straits like uh man impressive I, I i man i had no idea that he was that young but um all that to say uh i checked this one out uh great piece of work great acting here i expect to see some oscar nominations coming this film's way um i i honestly i i'd be shocked if kaluuya does not actually win let alone get now if he's it, i don't see a world where he doesn't get nominated but if he doesn't win that'd be um that'd be a pretty big uh pretty big disappointment. So, um, granted, I, I'll need to see the nominations and who else was nominated in their performances, but, um, I have a hard time believing that anyone's going to top this. Uh, he did an amazing job. Lakeith Stanfield did an amazing job. Dominic Fishback did an amazing job. Um, it's a powerful film. It's an intense film. Um, it's one you're going to enjoy. So, um, I wholeheartedly recommend this one. Check it out. It just dropped on HBO Max yesterday. Uh, wrap up this video, rate, comment, subscribe, and share first though. And then, uh, go check this one out. Peace.